Hello everyone, welcome to Salesforce Predator. In this channel, we discuss about various concepts and technologies in Salesforce. In this video series, we will be discussing about lightning flows. So today, we will be discussing about how we can create a uh, flow using screen element. So for example, we will be creating a contact records with a screen flow. And then we'll look into how we can debug our flows. Okay. So let's go to Salesforce org and we'll select flows over here. You'll be able to see existing flows over here. We'll click on new flow so that we can create a new flow. We'll be redirected to flow builder. We'll select screen flow for now because we are creating a flow using screen element and we'll select free from over here free form sorry now uh, i'll just drag this screen element over here and uh, we'll label it as create contact record screen one okay you can see other properties for this screen so you have to show header or not you have to show footer or not right so if i deselect this so header disappears then if i deselect footer then footer also disappears okay for now we'll be needing it because we need these buttons also then uh, we have this provide help thing uh, so if i enter some text so it will display the help text over here see you can see the help text icon right so for now we don't need it over here in the header next thing what we need to do is we need to add a text element okay so let's say if i select this text element and drag it over here i can see its properties over here now uh, we want to create a contact record right so we'll select search what all things are needed to create a contact record so if i click on new i'll be able to see a new contact record pop up and i can see last name field mandatory over here right so rest all fields are non-mandatory so we will select first name last name and uh, mobile number for our flow okay so let's label it as first name and is it a required field no right now first name is not required field for us right and component visibility so do we have to display first name always or it is based on some condition so for now it is uh, display always okay then uh, validate input so if some error is there for this field uh, what should we do what the what should be the error text message so that we have to enter over here okay then uh, we have provide help over here so we can have a help text over here so let's say if i enter please enter first name here right so we can see a help text icon over here and then we'll click on done over here okay so we have created our first screen element now let's say if you want to edit this screen element what you have to do you have to double click on this so it will open the edit screen for this element and you can modify the properties right okay now we'll be adding uh, one more screen element where we'll add a uh, last name of a contact okay so we'll label it as screen two and we'll drag a text field over here okay yeah and we'll label it as last name we'll make it as required because last name is required field on contact layout right then field visibility will keep it always then we'll just provide a help text that last name is mandatory okay now we'll click on done so we have created our screen to element also okay now we'll create our third screen element so we can 
put all these uh, fields inside one screen also okay so just for demo purpose i'm adding three screens over here so i'll just add one more screen this screen three and we'll add a email field okay let's say so i'll click on email give it a name and click on done okay so now we have created three screen elements uh, what we have to do is we have to connect these elements so that we can make a proper flow so this would be our first screen then on click on next it should go to second screen right and on click on next it should go to third screen right so user would be able to enter all these three values for three fields now after entering all these three values we need to create our contact record right so what we have to do is we have to select a data element uh, create records we have to drag it over here and we will name it as create contact record okay Uh, how many records to create so for now we will keep it as one only and use all values from a record so how to set these values so we have to use a separate resources okay and we have to select over here as contact right so we have selected contact now uh, what are the uh, fields which we need to select over here so we have to select first name last name and email and we need, need to uh, assign the values whatever user has entered in these screens to these variables right so if i select over here as first name so this is the field first name and what value will go into first name so we need to select over here and you will be able to see these uh, options available right so we'll go to screen components and we'll select first name so first name will be mapped to first name of contact object which we will be creating right we'll add one more field over here we'll select uh, last name right and we will select last name screen element right next thing we'll select email right and we will select email screen component over here okay value right so i'll click on done over here and we'll take it over here and connect to the screen 3 right okay now i'll just save this right so we'll label it as create contact records okay and we can check what is there in the show advanced thing so how to run flow what is the type of flow all these things we don't have to modify it right now okay so we'll click on save we'll be able to save our flow now we can uh, activate our flow and once activated we can uh, use our flow inside a record pages so that we can utilize it uh, but for now we won't be activating our flow uh, because we'll be looking that in uh, next set of videos we'll uh, look how we can debug our flow now okay uh, so let's say if you have created a flow and before activating or before utilizing your flow you want to debug and look into how your flow is running whether it's throwing any error or not right or even after uh, activation if some error is uh, occurring for your processes so you can look into uh, like what is the issue over here and how we can debug our flow okay so we'll click on debug button over here so it will redirect me to a new screen where i'll be able to uh, enter values for these screens okay and test this uh, flow so it will first show me these options uh, i'll just click on run over here see it is showing me screen one and we are able to see help text also whatever we have entered in the flow while creating it so i'll enter salesforce for first name i'll click on next 
no as soon as you click on next right so what whatever is the uh, debug details it is visible on the right side of this screen okay so uh, what you did uh, you entered first name over here and uh, what is the value at end time so value was salesforce and then what happened you click this navigation button the next button right so everything is written over here uh, see you can notice this last name is mandatory so if I don't enter and click on next it will throw me error that this field has to be completed so I'll enter this value I'll click on next debug details would be updating over here some yeah if I click on next yeah if I click on next uh, so we are redirected to third screen and debug details got updated now let's say uh, if I enter some email address okay and if I click on next so uh, it should be creating a record okay so it's showing all done and you can run this debug again and you can see the debug details over here so you click on next entered last name you entered email address over here and then uh, at the end you created a record right so everything is mentioned over here in the debug details so if some error is there you can see that also over here okay now we'll check in the contact records if we are able to see the newly created contact record so if i refresh this screen this is a contact list view I'll be able to see a new contact record which we have created right now while debugging our flow. Okay, so if I open this, go to details, I would see the values which we have entered inside email and inside name fields, right? So uh, that's how you create your flow and uh, that's how you debug your flow. Okay, so in next set of video, we'll look uh, how we can include our flow after activating inside record pages and we'll see uh, like what happens whenever an error is there in while your flow runs okay or while your phone executes so thank you for watching this video if you have any uh, questions you can add that in the comment section and uh, do not forget to subscribe this channel